guys, and welcome to Radical Eats. Today we are going to be making this. It's I'm calling it vegan mac and cheese because the sauce is cheesy and macky, but actually you can put it on anything you want. So I made noodles and put some tomatoes in there, but that was my personal choice. Again, the sauce is amazing and this recipe is super easy and it's packed with B vitamins and all that goodness. So watch, enjoy, and I will see you next week. Alright, hello everyone. Um, we are recording on the floor today because we couldn't really gain access to the kitchen. The cool thing about raw food is you can prepare it wherever the heck you want. So, here we have a um, gorgeous uh, bowl of soaked nuts. Now they're half uh, walnuts, I mean not walnuts, they're half almonds and half uh, cashews and it was one third of a cup of each. They expanded once we got soaked. Um, we have nutritional yeast, and we're going to throw that in here along with our white rice wine vinegar, um, our ground mustard, one clove of garlic, and our salt. So here's our clove of garlic in the jar, and we are going to add a quarter cup of rice wine vinegar. Um, and now I know that um, some raw foodies enjoy the rice wine vinegar and some don't. Uh, if you want, you can do apple cider vinegar and you can always do olive oil as well. I mean, not olive oil, um, lemon juice as well. Only it would take a fair bit of lemon juice. So I'm throwing that in there and we're going to throw in all of the nuts here. And it actually creates a really good creamy and nutty base. It's really nice. Um, now we're going to add one teaspoon of sea salt, which I have in this little saki glass. Fill that in there. And um, how much? I'm trying to remember. This this recipe is from Recall, so please excuse me. Um, I'm going to do about half a teaspoon. If I can get it in here of ground mustard. I'll make it heaping. Uh, depending on how old your mustard is. Uh, ground mustard loses its spice after a while. This is new ground mustard, so I used the same amount as I normally did the other day and pretty much burnt my throat out, so be a little careful with that. Um, and last but not least, we have our nutritional yeast, which is packed B vitamins, which I'm sure you know. Um, and we are going to do half a cup of nutritional yeast. Um, it's really your call how much you want to throw in. I just really love this stuff and don't think you can ever go wrong with it, and it's super, super good. Um, it also delivers its own uh, saltiness to the dish. So if you don't want to do salt at all, that's also fine. Right. So I'm just going to throw this lid on here and uh, blend it up. All right, so blending it all together, it takes a while, but it gets this really awesome, like, creamy, almost mustard-like texture. And it's really, really good. That's all i got to say is you have to try this dish, um, especially if you were vegan before you were raw and you enjoyed vegan mac and cheese. So good. Right here we have our zucchini and tomatoes. I like to dice up tomatoes and just throw it into the dish to give it a bit of kick and I like tomatoes with my pasta. You don't have to uh, prepare zucchini the way I'm doing it. You can also shred it with a cheese shredder or whatever you have. Uh, the thing about that is you do get tiny, tiny little strips and the moisture releases really fast. So if you're doing that, I'd recommend eating it right away. Anyways, this is the trick for cutting really thin noodles if you don't have a spiralizer. If you do, just use it. I'm so jealous of you. Um, you cut it in half, and you cut cross sections, like I have one here. And um, from there, you just take your knife and place it across. And then you separate it, and you have a noodle. That's pretty thick. I like mine super, super thin. So just slide it across, and go like that. And you can continue to do that with the whole piece until you get pasta or a pasta-like consistency. Uh, the thinner it is, the more of the sauce it absorbs and the more delicious your dish is, so it's really worth putting the time into it. There's a good one. Oh, darn. 